The Lagos state government has embarked on a week-long demolition of distressed buildings in the Ebute Meta area of the state. Speaking while sensitizing residents in the area while demolition was ongoing, executives of the Lagos State Building Control Agency noted that the drill was to avert building collapse and protect lives and property. For well, more details in this next report. In the aftermath of the building collapse that occurred on Ibadan Street, Ebute Meta, 10 days ago, the Lagos State Government warned residents to vacate buildings that failed integrity tests. The government's resolve came after about 10 people lost their lives, with 24 orders rescued with varying degrees of injury after a three-story building marked for demolition caved in. Staying true to its words, state executives with the Building Control Agency have commenced demolition of buildings, declared death traps. Despite the constant warnings and notice from the government, some residents of the affected buildings remained adamant until the last minute. Rising from several incidents of building collapse recorded across the state in the past week, but the latest being the second incident in three months within the Yaba Ebutemeta area, Stakeholders present at the demolition site commended the state government for prioritizing the safety of citizens. It's a move that, that averted collapse and calamity that is in waiting. We are all in support of all these moves because by doing it, it will give every one of us rest of mind in our choosing profession. We are into real estate development. We are doing it for our living, but at the same time, we need to take cognizance of the people within and around the environment where we are building by erecting solid structure. Whoever that fails to do the needful should be, all the buildings should be pulled down. We are in support of everything. That is why you are seeing us here today. We are working towards achieving zero tolerance to building collapse. Meanwhile, residents of the community, while commanding the state government, urged the administration to provide alternative shelter. Today, for them coming, we had no issues to stop them from their work. We have no issue to tell them, like, like we, don't have, we don't have any issues throwing stone or fighting them back not to do their work. But all we want from the government, for them to come and send us out from where we stay, we sh they should please provide at least a place people will go to. This is a very good stuff for them doing for us. Here in Ebute Meta, about 10 houses have been touched today. When the 10 houses, people there coming out, how do we expect them to get another place living? This is so touching, but even at that, the, the, the life we lost is no more than the house they are bringing down. We want the government to look into this. Getting an apartment now is very, 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 very expensive. The Lagos state government has said it would activate the relevant section of a state urban and regional planning and development law of 2019 as amended to effect the seizure of the site of the collapsed building. Mary Kanu, TV360, Nigeria.